Ron Hunter never imagined he would create such a stir by simply taking off his shoes. One thing that we told them uh, on that call that they said, Coach, your life's about to change. And he didn't know what that meant. Manny Ohonmi admits it was an odd request. Would you help me coach a basketball game in Barefoot? And there was that silent phone. I actually thought it was a joke, to be honest with you. That's the same reaction his IUPUI basketball players had when their coach told him he said yes. When I first heard it, I thought, I was like, this guy's crazy. But there was good reason for the crazy request. 300 million children go without shoes, and I just had no idea. And so uh, I, when, when, when that part hit me, I thought, what, you know, anything that we can do to bring awareness to this, let's do it. Manny Ahonli was once one of those children. Born in Nigeria, he received his first pair of shoes when he was nine from a missionary who also taught him how to play basketball. To me, it's like someone literally giving you gold. And so uh, you, you take good care of it and you wear it until you couldn't wear it anymore and uh, you cut the toe out of it and, uh, and uh, pass it on to somebody else to take it. Ahonli eventually earned a scholarship to play basketball at a small U.S. college and ultimately started Samaritan's Feet, a charity donating shoes to children around the world. By coaching a Jaguars game barefoot last January, Hunter hoped to take a big step toward inspiring 40,000 shoe donations. Corporate contributions soon made that barefoot step a giant leap. 40,000 turned into you know, 200,000 really easy. And so, uh, so I was really excited about that. That an idea so simple could have such an impact is exactly the point Hunter wanted to make to his players, three of whom joined him in Peru last July to distribute some of the shoes. The trip proved to be all at once eye-opening and heartbreaking. It was really difficult. I mean, every day when we drove away, and there'd be you know still many people waiting for uh, you know for us to give them shoes. I mean, you just you wanted to give them some, but you just you didn't have enough. You know, the demand was too high. When you leave, you got people on the buses, begging, like trying to climb on the bus. Mom's like, please give my kids shoes, like crying. All three of those kids are tough kids. And to see them break down in tears when, you know, they wanted to help more, to see them take their own shoes off their feet because we couldn't help a kid because we had to really make sure we, we, we limit the number of shoes uh, was amazing. There are more shoes needed, and so Hunter will take his off on the sidelines again Saturday. This time he hopes he's not the only coach in the country doing it. It's amazing. I'm not the basketball coach at IEPY. I'm that shoeless coach now. And, and that's okay. If, I, if there's something I'm going to be remembered for, I'm okay with being remembered by that. Uh, but I don't make a mockery of that because it, did, it, it has left a permanent mark on my life because of what I've been able to see. Larry Smith, CNN, Atlanta.